Hi, are you bored of the same old sandwiches being brought to work day after day and you're like, I need something new to eat or I need something interesting for my kids to take to school? I have a great new take on a tuna salad. It's slightly lighter because I've replaced some of the mayonnaise with Greek yogurt and I've added some delicious lemon zest and grated green apple. Have you ever thought of that? Maybe, maybe not. Well, if you haven't, I highly suggest giving this recipe a try and letting me know what you think. I'm grating one teaspoon of lemon zest and I'm gonna need a tablespoon of lemon juice as well, so don't get rid of your lemon yet. I'm adding that to one tablespoon of low-fat Greek yogurt. I've replaced only one tablespoon of the mayonnaise with Greek yogurt. You could probably do half and half, so use two tablespoons of Greek yogurt and two tablespoons of mayonnaise but you have to be careful when you're replacing mayonnaise with yogurt because it can get a little bit watery. So you don't wanna to go too far, especially if you're making this ahead like I'm doing. And a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'll just squeeze this through my hand because I think it's really juicy. Normally I use my squeezer, but today I'm just going crazy. Stir it together. You might wanna use a whisk, but I feel like once I start adding the rest of the ingredients, it'll smooth right out. Season it with salt, pepper, and then for some nice crunch, why not add a stalk of celery? Dice up your celery. The good thing about this recipe, I think, is that it's not just new for no reason. Everything has a purpose. The lemon zest gives aromatics and the lemon juice gives tanginess. The celery there for crunch as well as the apple, but the apple also adds a little bit of sweetness. And that all just brings it really to life. It's a much more interesting recipe than your standard tuna salad. That's about half a cup of diced celery. Then you can add your tuna. It's one can of water-packed tuna that's been drained. I'm using the water pack because it's lower in fat. If you're not concerned about calories, go ahead and use the oil pack. I think it has more flavor, but if you're concerned about health, you should go with the water. Let's stir that just a little bit. And then for the final ingredient, secret ingredient, Granny Smith apple. I'm gonna peel this. I only need half, but I'll peel the whole thing and then maybe I can eat it as a snack or something. I mean, I guess you could attempt to cut it in half and then peel that half and save the other half for something else, but the other idea, I guess, would be to double this recipe and save some. But I, I feel like you can figure out what to do with half of an apple, right? I'm gonna grate it on the box grater. Use the large holes of the box grater and then just grate it into long strips. The acidity in the tuna salad is gonna keep the apple from discoloring, so no need to worry about that. You'll probably get a couple tablespoons. It's not too, too much, but it's enough to add a little je ne sais quoi, I guess you could call it. It doesn't say to, but I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of the liquid out. I suppose you don't need to, but I don't want my tuna salad to get too wet, especially if you're packing this up in the morning to bring to lunch with you at work. Add that, and you have a delicious tuna salad. You can serve this however you want. I'm gonna make a sandwich. Be really good on Triscuits. I love tuna salad on Triscuits. One of my favorite snacks from childhood. If I'm taking this to work or if you're taking this to work, I would suggest packing it separately and then assembling it when you get there because it is a little bit moist and it would probably get your bread soggy. A little bit of cucumber. Get nice green, crisp freshness from the cuke, but it's another watery thing, which is another reason I suggest bringing all your components with you and assembling right before you eat. A little bit of red onion. I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of packing up onion and taking it with me, so maybe this is for if you're eating it at home. The intensity grows if it sits for too long. I'm shaving mine paper thin because I have a super sharp knife. And now, when you're ready, everything packed separately, make your sandwich. This makes two sandwiches, so you get two delicious lunches out of this, or lunch for two. Oops. Mmm, yummy. Fresh, crisp, cooling cucumber, little spicy red onion. And to harken back to my childhood hippie roots, some alfalfa sprouts. I cannot eat sprouts without thinking about my childhood. 
I'm sure lots of people eat sprouts and they're very good for you, but that's what they remind me of. Look at that. A healthier, more delicious tuna sandwich cannot be found. Why don't you give this one a try? You'll be the envy of your office. So fresh and delicious and quite a bit healthier than your average tuna salad, if that's what you're looking for. But you can eat it just because it's gonna be delicious too. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you wanna subscribe and click over here if you wanna continue watching more great videos like this.